Hey everybody, this is Geo Joe here today with a demo tutorial on how to set up scheduled based recording. Let's say for example that you want to record round the clock for certain periods of the day and then you want to switch over to motion recording at other parts of the day. This is a great video that explains how to do that. Before I get into the demo video, if you find the content on this channel useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and also giving this a video a thumbs up. Now again, for today's video, we will be going over how to create a schedule for motion-based or round-the-clock recording. With the GeoVision VMS 17, 18, and AI Guard software, this video does apply. Now, by default, in the VMS software, if you come up into the right-hand corner and hit the toolbar and go to the Monitoring tab, which is the far left icon, that is going to be set to record based on motion events. Just straight out of the box with the software, that is the default option. If you want to set up a schedule, you are going to need to go into the software and create that schedule. So where we do that is we come here to the Configure button, and then we go down to Schedule Edit. Now, when you come here, there's a couple steps that you have to do. First, you hit Plan, and then hit Add, and you will want to give your plan a name. You can create as many plans as you want, and you can create different schedules for those plans. Once you have done that, go ahead and click on your plan's name, and then go to Schedule and Edit Weekly. This is where we are going to choose what days of the week we want our schedule to apply to. And then, of course, just make sure that you have clicked on the appropriate one of the dropdown. Once you are satisfied with how you have that set up, just go ahead and hit OK. And it will bring you to this window, and now you'll see here that it has that schedule applied. If you go through your various months, it's just going to replicate the uh, schedule that you created across all of those days. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and click on the schedule on the left, right-click, and hit Edit. This will bring up a new window, and this is where you can go in and you can, by camera, create schedules based on round-the-clock recording, which means constant recording even if nothing is happening in the camera's field of view, or motion detection recording. Now, there are some other things that we will want to set up in here for remote viewing, such as the webcam connection and the ERM connection. ERM stands for Edge Recording Manager. That is the remote client viewing desktop software that would go on your PC or your laptop and allow you to remotely view. By enabling these, it basically turns on the network service that's needed to be able to send the video out so you can remotely view. So we'll come back to those settings in a few moments. First, you will want to make sure that you are clicked on the dropdown of the camera that you would like to assign a schedule to. Now, if you want the same schedule to apply to multiple cameras, we do have this convenient button here that you can use to apply to all cameras, or you can set individual camera schedules. So let's say, for example, on this camera, we would like to start off and do a round-the-clock recording session up until about 8 a.m. So you're just going to drag and then release. And I recommend changing this from general event to urgent event. That's going to give you full frame recording. And then let's say, for example, from that point, you want to flip over to motion-based. So you're going to click and then drag until the end of the part where you want it to flip back over to round the clock recording. And as you release, you now see our option here for motion sensitivity level. You can click the drop down, and let's say, for example, if you want to set it to a sensitivity level of eight, you can do that right there and hit OK. And then you'll want to just finish up your schedule by coming back here to the end point. And let's say that we want to go from 1700 to 24 hours and put it back on round the clock recording during that period. We'll flip that and hit urgent event and then hit OK as well. Now, if you would like to replicate this schedule across all cameras on your system, you can then hit apply to all cameras and it will do the work for you and you'll be good to go. If you want to flip to a different camera and set a individual camera schedule, you can click the drop down. And now we're just going to basically replicate that process, but it's going to be what is relevant for that camera only. So as you see here, I'm just going to create a, a quick basic schedule. And I'll show you here how you can now flip back and see the difference between the two. 
So as you see here, I have the schedule for this LPC 2211 camera. I can then click back to camera one and you see how I have a different schedule individually for that camera. So that's how you would set up your round the clock based recording and your motion detection based recording for your cameras. And the next thing that you will want to do is come down here to enable webcam connection. This is going to turn on the network service webcam server so you can remotely connect through the GVI mobile application. And it also will give you the ability to connect through a web browser if you'd like to view through a web browser remotely. So you do have the ability to schedule this. Let's say, for example, you only want people to be able to remotely view at certain periods of the day. Maybe you just highlight those periods that you want. Or if you want just 24 hour access, just go ahead and highlight the entire frame. Now, one thing I have failed to mention so far is if you ever mess up on any of this and you need to correct a schedule, you can click on the eraser button here and then just highlight over and it will get rid of the schedule that you've created. And when you're ready to go back and add more time, hit the pencil button and now you can go ahead and create that schedule again. The next one, ERM connection. So this is for the Edge Recording Manager program. Again, this is the desktop version to remotely view. Um, this would reside on your PC or your laptop. It's a program that gets installed. And if you do want to remotely view from the VMS, you are going to need this Edge Recording Manager connection enabled. So again, this is going to be either 24 hours or if you only want it to work certain times of the day, you'll go ahead and enable that right there. Now, one other thing that's a good idea to go ahead and click on and enable is under the server tab, start mobile server. This is going to be one of the services you also need to have turned on for the GVI mobile app. So you not only need the webcam server connection, but you also need the mobile service connection. So go ahead and highlight your appropriate time frame, And then once you're done with this, you can hit OK, OK. And what you will want to do as the last step would be to come up to the toolbar, go to monitor. Right now we're using IO monitoring. So I'm just going to hit stop all monitoring to give us our other options. And then we're going to come back in here and click on the monitor option. And we're now going to hit start schedule monitoring. And by doing that, we have now activated the schedule that we just created. This has been a quick overview tutorial on how to set up schedule-based recording with the GeoVision VMS, as well as AI Guard software. For further information on the GeoVision product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.